One of the main mosques of Mombasa and Masjid Musa bears the scars of deadly clashes. Police stormed the mosque earlier this week, accusing worshippers of holding a jihadist convention. Several people lost their lives and more than 120 were arrested, children among them. Clerics here insist they were doing nothing wrong. Has it been gazetted that you cannot have a jihadist convention as long as you don't break any laws? Surat Muhammad talks about jihad. So are, you, are they saying that certain parts of the Quran are not supposed to be taught in the mosque? It was not a recruitment convention. Uh, if it was, it would not have been done in public. But police say they found information on several suspected leaders of militant groups, video of Al-Shabaab training exercises, and an array of weapons ranging from machetes to iron bars. Sheikh Makaburi insists the machetes were merely used for maintenance. Security forces in Kenya have been cracking down on suspected militant activity, a direct result of last September's attack on the Westgate Mall in Nairobi. Al-Shabaab claimed responsibility for the Westgate attack, citing Kenya's military intervention in Somalia. And the group has many sympathizers and members in this city. Sheikh Makaburi is among those under police surveillance for suspected militant activities. The Masjid Musa Mosque also is under surveillance. Security forces claim it is a recruitment ground for Al-Shabaab, but worshippers here say it is targeted because its clerics are so outspoken. It is the only mosque in Mombasa or in Kenya that is against the invasion of Somalia by the Kenyan forces. Local politicians say the issues in this region go beyond religion. The, the conditions uh, that, that are prevalent, uh, poverty, marginalization, political exclusion, dispossession in terms of land, and I think a general sense of hopelessness. And therefore people then tend to rally uh, as a fraternity around, around certain ideas and certain concepts that, in, that tend to, to give them hope. Kenya's president, Uhuru Kenyatta, on Friday announced that no institution would be used as a center to promote radicalism. Those who wish to use a religious platform to radicalize our youth and make them killers of children, that we shall not accept. But religious and political leaders here say the tough actions of the security forces is no solution at all. So I think what we need to do is to, to, to have a broader strategy that constantly is engaging with all the stakeholders, national governments, uh, the religious leadership, the youth, the women, the parents, the, the, the elected leadership of these areas to legitimize a strategy that is broadly wide and widely accepted. I would like to remind the president of this country, his father was labeled as a terrorist. So he should be pride, proud of us. We are following his, foot, his father's foot, footsteps. In the past few years, Mombasa has emerged as one of the hotspots in the country, witnessing violent clashes, pitting security operators on one hand and Muslim youth. And even though a sense of normalcy seems to have returned, most here know all too well the issues are far from resolved. Penina Karibe, CCTV, in Mombasa, Kenya.